in this tutorial uh, we would talk about Django so Django is an, a Python based web framework so in this tutorial we will uh, learn about what requirements we need to have on our machine to run Django so what tools and code editors we require to have so that we can run Django on your local machine so before I start I would like to show the content we are going to be covering in this video so first we will discuss about Django uh, uh, by the official documentation of the Django then we will talk about the tools and code editors what we require them and why we need them and then we will talk about how the steps to install Django so these are the steps how we can install Django and how we can start or create a Django project and a Django app on our local machine so Django is a high level Python web framework that encourages rapid development and clean pragmatic design so it was built by experienced developers it takes care of much of the hassle of web development so you can focus on writing your app without needing to reinvent the wheel it's free and open source in the django is usually based on mbt pattern model view template so this i'm referring to the official documentation of the django so it says there is a model layer so model layer if it's used for structuring and manipulating the data of your web application so the uh, m stands for model and this model layer is used for structuring and manipulating the data of your web application the next we have is the view layer and the view is, is responsible to encapsulate the logic responsible for processing a user's request and for returning the response so all the business logic is uh, is encapsulated inside the view layer and it is responsible for building the logic and uh, how the user can request and how you respond to that particular request so this is all about in the view layer so next we have is the template layer so template layer provides a designer friendly syntax for rendering the information so how you want to present the data to the user so the all the front end part that is html css javascript is uh, is there in the template layer so how you can design your front end parts how you can want to show that uh, data or you show, show that design your page to the user is all defined inside the template layer before we create a django uh, server on our local machine and we run it on our local machine you can uh, go to the official website of the python you can move to downloads and according to your operating system you can download python and uh, when uh, please make sure one thing here that when you have downloaded the python and when you run the installer what you have to do is you will get a, a, a window like this on your screen and it says like install python 3.6.2 a 64-bit version what you need to do is make sure to enable this option that add python 3.62 part so because this would add python 3, 3. Point any version you are using that is type python 3.x the x could be 3.5 3.6 3.7 3.8 to the path and you can access python via command line i will show this you yeah i would open the command line yeah this looks better with a good font size so what i want you to do is now when you have installed python on your local machine you just need to type python it says yeah it says python 3.8.1 after ins download in downloading and installing python to your path and running python from the command line you can move to sqlite studio and uh, the sqlite studio used to uh, interact with the sqlite database where well, initially you are going to work with the sqlite database in django so you can this is this provides you a graphical user interference so you can click on this link download windows binary open in link you, uh, so i'm opening this uh, link in the new tab so what you can do according to your uh, uh, operating system you can download the file from here and install it on your machine next what you can do is install visual studio code here. so visual studio code uh, is the code editor we are going to use for this series we are going to use visual code studio because the best part of this is that it has an integrated terminal inside it so i can show you this thing like we this is the visual studio code and uh, like we are we are doing some projects so we can interact with the visual studio code as well now the the in third part like we have covered the a and the b part and in the third third part we are going to see steps to install django so what you can do is open your command line i would uh, recommend you to run this command pip pip is a python based package manager so it helps you to install packages and li libraries externally uh, via command line so what you need to type is pip install django so this will install django on your machine but uh, like i have already installed django on my machine so it might tell me the requirement already satisfied because i have already installed django on my local machine so to check this what you can do i would recommend you to type python so python has been run by a command line 
and now type import Django. Now then, then next you can type Django dot version. So this will return me the Django version which has been installed successfully on my machine. So that this look great that Django has been installed on my machine. So first what you need to do is pip install Django and you need to run this command. So next time we are going to work with Visual Studio Code in, with the integrated terminal. So after opening your terminal, what you need to do is move to desktop. Then move to the that folder CD programming uh, knowledge. So I am inside this folder and now I am going to run directory command. So it shows me that hello.py file has been and a folder called notes has been there. So what I need to do is Django admin start project this could be any project name you want to give in my project now i would run, run the directory command so this says my project has there is a folder called my project which has been has been installed on in the current directory and this is due to this command django admin start project my project so oh yeah you can here see that my project has been installed successfully now the, the Django project has been created and when if you want to start a app so as I mentioned earlier that inside this there is a manage.py file so you can run this uh, file via command line if you specify python you, uh, as a prefix to this file name so in the same way we can run this manage.py file via command line if you use python as a prefix so what I'm tr trying to say is like you move to the uh, uh, sorry you move to the inside the Django project folder which is my project named here CD my project now what you need to do is run the directory command so there is a file called manage.py you can run this file if python manage.py so you are able to run this file but in addition to this uh, this i'm also specify something start app and you it could be my app so uh, let me clear uh, one thing here yeah so it's a bit uh, so first i created a i i was inside my programming knowledge directory then i created a folder called my project so this is a django project so inside a django project i created an app which I am specifying like this python manage.py inside the project folder I am trying to create an app with the name my app I want to tell you one thing that uh, inside a Django project there can be multiple apps so or we can say like there can be multiple apps inside a single Django project okay so like by using this command we are going to create an app so I would say python manage.py start app my app so when I move to my folder I would say my app so the my app has been created inside my my project folder in the same way I can do one thing extra I can do my app too oh so this also works so like what I told you that inside my Django project single Django project I have created two apps one is my app and another is my app too so what I wanted to tell you that inside a single Django project you can create multiple apps so far we have moved to this now in the last one what you are going to run if you want to run the Django server on our local machine what you need to do is you should be inside your project folder and type python manage dot py run server so so this says Django version 3.0.1 using settings my project dot settings starting developer server at this and this is 127.0.0.1 and this is the 8000 is the port number so I want to tell you that this is your local host address till 127.0.0.1 and 8000 is your port number so either you can copy this address or you can one simply do one thing since 127.0.0.01 is your local host address what you can type is simply type local host and specify the port number and port number was 8000 so this would okay now you can see the this uh, page is being loaded here so what we can do we can quit the server with the control breaks break command I think there seems any issue with this uh, 
I would again run this command. Okay, so this shows that this has been now it has been started on my machine. So like so now this has, so this is the so you have to use this command python manage.py run server. So this has uh, uh, has started the server on my local machine with the address 127.0.0.1 colon 8000. So this means that uh, that address was local host and the port number was 8000. I had simply typed local host colon uh, colon 8000. So uh, the server is running successfully. So the install worked successfully. Congratulations. So the, this is from here you can refer to the Django documentation, tutorial, a polling app, Django community. So till now we made a Django server on a machine and we were able to run that Django server on our machine.